So, in a one-season perspective cohort study, including approximately 700 elite youth handball players, uh, aged between 14 to 18 years old, we aim to investigate if a large increase in handball load, um, defined as the absolute amount of uh, handball competition and training hours in one week, relatively to the four weeks preceding average of handball playing hours, was associated with the occurrence of new shoulder injuries in youth handball players. Uh, and the second thing, thing we investigated was if if such an association was uh, modified by other shoulder characteristics, like for instance uh, reduced uh, rotational strength, uh, scapular dyskinesis, range of motion and abduction strength. And our first main finding was that the shoulder injury rate was nearly twice as high in the week following a 60% or greater increase in handball playing load when compared to an increase below 20%. The second thing we found was that players with scapular dyskinesis or reduced external strength were more prone to shoulder injuries already at a moderate increase in handball playing load between 20 to 60 percent. But importantly, these um, players were not more predisposed to shoulder injuries as long as they kept the load below 20 percent. So based on our study, um, handball playing load seems to be the key risk factor for the development of shoulder injuries.